Hello and welcome to another episode of Full-Time Freedom Tour. I'm Johnny Rowlett and if you haven't ever found us before, welcome to our page. Make sure that you hit that bell, subscribe, comment, like, all that stuff, or just don't. I hope this video actually helps you, makes a difference. It's when I find stuff that works, or I find stuff that doesn't work, or when I learn something new, I just share it. That's it. So uh, today I want to talk to you about <laughs> internet, Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff. The One of the most important topics for people who are out there on the road, part-time or full-time, like Gail and I, we are full-time, and one of the most important things is that we work from the road. We work from our coach and uh, we have to have internet. I have a previous video that I'll list right here where we have been using the wine guard and I'm gonna talk about that here in a few minutes and, and uh, the pluses and the minuses of the wine guard. But we have something new that a buddy of mine has uh, just started a new company and uses a world renowned uh, router that is uh that it's actually ambulances and and uh first responders use this uh this router in all of their uh fire trucks you know uh in any emergency vehicles they use this router it's a very large multi-million dollar company that uses this router my buddy has connected with the router and then created a program for Wi-Fi for 4G LTE on the road. Now, let's take a minute here. So let me introduce you to the PepWave, the Transit 18. Now, just in all fairness, this, uh, this little bad boy right here is incredible. And this is probably overkill. This is the largest, he sent me the biggest and the best. Why, I don't know, he's awesome, I appreciate it. But they have the 18, the Transit 12, and then it goes down from there. Matter of fact, let me just kind of tell you, the it's a this is a Cat 18 uh, modem, is what it is, Category 18 modem. Then they have a Cat 12 modem, and then they have the uh, Pepwave Cat 6 modem, and, uh, and I think that's the lowest, the Pepwave MK2 Cat 6 modem. From what I'm gathering from my re research, even beyond him, is that most of us on the road don't need a router this big, this bad. I think most of us could get away with it, with the uh, Cat 12, or even down to the Cat 6. Um, it depends on what you do, what you use your, your modem for, your internet for. If you are just watching TV and you know, watching Netflix at night and, and you know, a little bit of computer here or there, uh, the Cat 6 will be more than, more than appropriate for you. Um, if you are, however, like Gail and I, where we do all of our work, we do all of, I do YouTube, I do all my, uh, all our, we travel full time, we live in this full time, and you can imagine all the things. We have two Apple computers, We've got two iPads, we've got uh, two iPhones, uh, and we're, I guess we're Apple people, I didn't even mean to be that way, but then we also uh, have two Roku devices, uh, and then all, all the other things that you can just imagine. Now that you know, let me explain something about the difference between the WineGuard and the 4G LTE. This WineGuard that I've got has uh, the uh, has is two has two purposes or two uses. Number one is it's what's best about it is right now I'm in a friend of mine's front yard in in Micanopy, Florida, and he's got Wi-Fi in his house. Now his Wi-Fi is not real strong, but this wine guard I can sit out here in the yard somewhere and and it will pull in his actual Wi-Fi. So if you're in a house with Wi-Fi or, you know, in a yard with somebody's got Wi-Fi or, or, you know, you're near Starbucks or something like that, that's really good for that. 
um, if you have the passwords and all that kind of stuff. It also has 4G LTE connection. Now it is a Cat 6 modem, which is uh, decent, but more uh, information uh, streaming. Here's the catch. It was always very difficult and uh, a process to tie in to the 4G where we, wherever we are. I don't know why, I don't understand uh, the reasonings behind that, I'm sure some of you do, but it like took probably 10, 15 minutes and 10, 15 tries. And then the other issue was it wasn't real strong in throughout the coach. Um, but the last major issue was that from what I understood, now this is just my own experience from what I understood, uh, I went to Verizon and they said they no longer will allow a SIM card to be put into something like this. Why? I think it's because they came out with their own better modem hotspot, if you will. Um, and that kind of leads me into the whole issue with this 4G LTE through WineGuard is you, it's only as good as your plan is. And our plan was, although quote unquote unlimited, it would only give you 15 gigs of, of, uh, you know download you know of use until it ran out and then what it would do is it would just throttle you down so yes it was unlimited but it really wasn't so um we were always just struggling always going back and forth and i mean i'll be honest with you because that was all the option there was i was still pretty happy with it the wine guard itself cost about five hundred dollars and then you pay you know uh your your monthly subscription to verizon or at&t again the biggest problem is verizon has from my understanding has stopped doing that so i think part of things they're afraid of people just overusing it you know for and, and probably that's a good reason i'm not sure and that leads me to talking about this new uh company that my buddy has has come up with, has designed, has started. It's called Internet On The Go. And it actually is internetonthego.net. You can go check it out right now. Now, I'm gonna just tell you, it's not for everybody. This is not for somebody who is probably a weekender and it's not for somebody who's looking for cheap internet. I have looked on the, online and found uh, quite a few cheap internet options out there. Um, I've actually used a couple, tested a couple, and it's, uh, first of all, I got the new hotspot from Verizon, and uh, and it does work okay. You can attach a little antenna to it. It it works okay, not great, but it's if you need it, it's there. Um, the problem is, again, 15 gigs, and then it go it throttles you down uh, to pretty slow, and. And you can completely tell when you're watching Netflix or something that you're throttled down. But it in a, in a tight spot, and that's only however much your plan is to add a line. You're gonna add a line to have that. So what is it, 10, 15 bucks a month to have that line. So not bad, um, but you only get the 15, and I have the unlimited plan. So there may be better plans out there. I don't know, I'm not trying to get into that. All I know with this, with internet on the go, I, I, this router, this big router is uh, fairly expensive. Um, again, this is the, for, so you're buying two things. I guess, it, let me kind of explain it like this. In essence, you're buying two things. You're buying the Pepwave Transit. And like I said, there's the Cat 18 modem. This sells for $825. There is no, uh, you, no discount. Uh, he's not upselling them. What he gets them for is what he's selling them to you for. And that's what he's just buying them and getting them straight to you for the same price. Um, there's then the next step down is the is the Cat 12 and it's $775. And uh, But the, the entry level, the one that most people will find that is good for them and we I, I, I kind of figure most people will jump on this one is the M Pepwave MK2 and it is a Cat 6 modem, which in my opinion would be 
good for most anybody for working on the computer for watching netflix for fair amount of coverage and and speed and power um, if you want to go up to the next level the cat 12 that jumps for it goes from 500 dollars for the mk2 cat 6 up to 775 dollars for the cat 12. so there it is that's just for the actual box and you can see this thing is very heavy well built this is no cheap program this is no cheap uh like you know plastic this is metal it's something uh that that i just love it because you plug it in and it works that's it inside of here is a sim card i've used this for two months now i haven't even come close to the 300 we're running about 180 150 to 180 um you may use a whole lot more i'm sure you got if you've got your kids and they're playing games and all that kind of stuff but but we use it a lot at one point i just kind of i don't know being a naysayer i just thought well let's let's put i put them all, i put the roku devices both of them uh, streaming movies at the same time i had uh both of our uh you know our ipads going both of our laptops going both of our phones going streaming stuff and and it didn't even i, I mean just my experience it didn't even phase it it was like full on here's the bottom line you plug it in and it works I, I just my experience that's all i can tell you is that my experience i love it i i've never had something where i've just could just trust that i plug it in and i go and here's the thing is as, as i drive you know we're we, we may get in our jeep and go somewhere for the day and you know use other people's wi-fi or 4g out in the you know like we're in, we're near gainesville i might be using 4g there as soon as i come back to the coach it clicks back over into uh the uh, pep wave or what it'll say is rv on the go and uh so it it's just it's just amazing and it works i think that you can get more information if you talk to michael um and i could get more information to you too i do have a discount code for you and if you wait to the end i can uh, help you with i think it's like free shipping and which is a pretty big you know free shipping and free setup so here's some things to know i said uh you get 300 gigs for 139 dollars a month um and here's the thing it's just month to month there's no contracts there's no long-term contracts it's just month to month if you want if you use it and and want to stop using it you're done as soon as you stop using it and tell them you know uh i'm done you're done there's no contracts which i really like that um, the other thing i think is so important in this that i found is that there's a full warranty for guarantee full guarantee if you use it and you don't think it works as good as i'm talking about or he talks about and and you try it and you say you know what it just it's uh i it didn't work like you said it would work then you get a full return i think the thing that's important to understand this is the part is that even though i say you plug it up and it works and that's what i love about it that's very true but it works where there's signal it's not wi-fi it's using 4g lte so if you are somewhere where you like for instance if you're not getting cell service on your phone then this probably won't work for you that's why i have the wine guard so if i'm uh this is a good example of where i'm at right now is uh the the 4g lte is very very poor i can barely get a text out on my phone i think that's because it's verizon and at&t works better here so for some reason this i've got this uh, i've got this in the a cabinet i just put it up in the cabinet and uh and it's working great i mean we've we've had no problems whatsoever getting service i'm sure if i had the verizon chip in here then it probably wouldn't work at all here um verizon for some reason in this spot just isn't very good it's my belief that verizon has more coverage 
uh, across the United States than, than AT&T or T-Mobile or anything. So, you know, that's, you can, you can tell him which SIM card chip that you want in there. Um, the other, so that's, that's important. So let's just kind of make sense of this. If I was here and I had a Verizon SIM card in here and I wasn't able to get 4G LTE here, then I would still use my WineGuard and pull in Wi-Fi from my buddy's house here. Let's say most of the time I'm, I'm not, personally, Gail and I, we don't do a lot of uh, boondocking and stuff like that. Uh, you know, we do a lot of Walmart docking and it works great in the Walmart parking lot because I've never been able to pull in Wi-Fi from Walmart. So this thing in a, in a Walmart parking lot, there's always good 4G LTE and it pulls it in fantastically. So, you know, it's just, you just gotta know that in advance, that if uh, you need to be where there is a 4G LTE signal for this to work. If there's a signal, even somewhat of a weak signal, it's gonna pull it in and amplify it and, and uh, you know, it's, it's, for us, it's just been fantastic. I just love it. This is where I keep my pep wave. The three green dots so that it's connected and working well. Um, the antennas are out by the window right there and, uh, and receive and put out great. I don't have it any, what I love about it is just plug and play. There's no hard installation. Um, I'm just plugged into power. That's it. No, it's literally no big deal. Um, when we travel, I put it up in the cabinet. When you're in a park and they have Wi-Fi and you plug, you, you tap into their Wi-Fi. First of all, in all honesty, I've never been to an RV park that has good Wi-Fi. Even the ones that advertise it and they say, "Oh, it's great Wi-Fi." Yeah, but when you got 150 to 300 people on the Wi-Fi at the same time, it's not good. Um, so it's never worked, never, never been good. Um, but if you did do that, you're, you're opening yourself up to a security risk. So let's say that you're banking and you know, you, you sign into your log, you log into your bank account online. That's a security risk, especially in a public Wi-Fi. What I love about the pep wave is the setup inside interior is all secure your all your information is secure and nobody can uh get that from if you use my uh my code uh my code is freedom tour 21 freedom tour 21 if you use that code then you'll get free shipping and free setup so go check out my buddy michael at internet on the go.net and ask him about the modems and the different modems and how much they cost and all that kind of stuff and just tell them Johnny sent you if you get this let me know and let me know how it is actually working for you have a great day enjoy your life on the road freedom style bye bye